guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the instant pod chili it's super easy and i love making this it's very good and it's a great comfort food idea it's also quite healthy so if you're on a diet this is a great thing to eat and these are all the things that you're going to be needing so first i'm gonna start off with just some ground beef uh, this is one pound of ground beef and then I have some beans. I didn't have any other kind of beans like kidney beans or red beans, but you can also put that in your chili. This is just one can of black beans. And then here I have about a cup of corn and then I have some chopped onions. I have some chopped jalapenos. I have some chopped tomatoes as well as I have these fire roasted diced tomatoes that are really tasty. So I'm going to be also adding that. And then for seasoning, I'm just gonna use a taco seasoning because um, it has all the ingredients that I need to flavor the chili. And then for some spice, I'm going to use the Cholula hot sauce. And then also one thing that I have that's optional is these chipotle peppers. They're kind of spicy and they add like a really good chipotle flavor. So this is also an optional step that you can do along with the jalapenos if you want your chili to be spicy. So let me show you guys and let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with adding some oil to my pan and I'm going to put it on saute mode. I'm going to go ahead and first saute the onions. So now I am just sauteing the onions and now they have started to get a little translucent and I'm going to go ahead and add the meat. And I'm going to saute this for a little bit until it starts to develop some color and I'm also going to put some seasoning on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and just add like about one chipotle pepper to my meat and cook it off. I went and added my diced tomatoes to the meat and now I'm going to just add some extra tomato that I had left over along with the jalapenos. I'm also going to be adding the black beans at this point. So all of my black beans go in and then I have the corn that I have a cup of which is also going to go in and I'm just going to let this sit. All right now it's starting to smell a whole lot like chili in my house. I'm just going to mix this quickly. This is an optional step but I can go ahead and also put in half of this cube. It adds really good flavor to stuff like this so I'm going to also put half of this. So what I did here is I just filled up my can with some water and I'm going to just go ahead and add this much water to my chili. And all you're going to do now is just mix and check your seasoning if you need more salt or if you need more spice, depending on how you like it, you can just uh, adjust it to your liking. So now I have everything inside of the pot and what I'm going to do is put my lid back on and close my lid. And now what I wanna just press is the bean chili. Here, let me cancel this first and then I'm gonna press the bean chili and I can do it for about 25 minutes since I've been sauteing the meat for a while and I'm just gonna let it cook now and let it do its thing. The Instant Pot is ready to be open. The latch just went down, I released the pressure and let's take a look. So I just opened my Instant Pot and this is what it looks like. It looks yummy looks amazing and I'm really excited to eat this. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it and show you guys how it looks. So my chili is done. I plated it in my bowl. On the side I just cut up some avocados. I have some cheddar cheese. I have some spring onion. I have some lime. I have some cilantro and I feel like it's going to complement the chili really well. The consistency of the chili is super nice and thick. It's perfect for 
uh, cold day. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe and I hope you guys use it and I hope you guys make it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye!